So the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl last night. But here's where it gets interesting. Sometime between 2003 and 2005, Bob Jones made a prophecy. And the prophecy was, when the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, you will know that revival is about to come. God is raising up his apostolic Chiefs. Now, the Chiefs also won the Super Bowl in 2020. Nothing really happened. But then, in 2023, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. And the Asbury Revival broke out. Revival and Asbury broke out. Where they were worshiping day after day after day, night after night after night. And I believe somewhere down the line, they shut everything down because of school and work. The buffoonery. However, that was the second time. Now they won again this time for the third time. Now, if you know God, you know that God is intentional. Now, why could the number three be intentional? Well, it can be intentional because Jesus rose in the third day. And in the Bible, it says that a day to God is like a thousand years to us. And it has been 2000 years since the crucifixion of Jesus, which would means we're stepping into the third day again. And in the book of Acts, it says that Jesus will return the same way he left. It said he ascended when he left. So he is going to ascend again. He rose on the third day then, and now we are entering the third day again. Look, check this out. It's the Kansas City Chiefs' third time winning since that prophecy. They played at the Las Vegas Stadium, where the address is 3333. The quarterback, Mahomes, threw for 333 yards. To win the game, Mahomes threw a three-yard pass with only three seconds left. Jesus was crucified when he was 33. They say that his ministry was three years long before he was crucified. Listen, my brothers and sisters, there is no such thing as coincidence. Everything happens for a reason and God is intentional with everything that happens. Interesting how we're also in a Jubilee year. Interesting how Israel also has red heifers that they're about to sacrifice and they believe that Jesus is going to sacrifice it and it has to be done in the Jubilee year. Interesting. Listen, my brothers and sisters, there is no such thing as a coincidence and everything God does is intentional. Things line up for us to see where we are at in time. God is intentional with these things. Now, the question is, are you listening with your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears? Are you hearing what's being said? Are you seeing what's showing? I'm wondering what's about to happen in the third month, which is next month. I'm wondering what's about to happen during Passover. I'm wondering what's about to happen during true biblical feast, not pagan holidays. This is why the enemy in the world doesn't want us to actually know about biblical feast. Because when you start studying them, you start seeing different signs of the times. And they want to keep us blind. They want to keep us in delusion. They want to keep us believing in the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. Wake up, my brothers and sisters. Wake up. If you are not right with God, now would be a good time to start. God bless.